Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a lot of money by thieving in the new Skyrim DLC. So you don't actually need any requirements for this. You can basically come here on a fresh level 3 character and make a lot of money as long as you basically just have the Grammar DLC purchased. So we're going to actually be stealing from Solitude. So you just want to come here on the map and you want to come to the Solitude Way Shrine and then just follow this little path down until you get to this little palace. And we're just going to be in this palace stealing things from the wardrobes and stuff. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to go over the route that I take. So you can just see on the screen my character is going to be running through the route and I'm just going to explain some stuff to you. So basically what you want to be looking for is just every wardrobe, every piece of, you know, drawers, every little chest, trunk, things like that. You just want to be sort of searching every single one of them because every single one of these is going to have the opportunity to have a, you know, furnishing plan in it. There's obviously the chance you can have a purple furnishing plan, a blue furnishing plan or a green furnishing plan. And they all sell for different amounts, but they're all going to make you a good amount of money, especially because the DLC just came out very recently. Um, I think the green furniture plants, which are the most common ones, you get quite a lot of those. They sell for about 40 to 50k right now, even if they're like kind of trashy. Because it's so early in the DLC. Obviously these prices will drop later on, but that's just the current prices on Xbox anyway. Also the blue motifs you can get, so they vary quite a bit. So if you get a really really bad one, so like say it's like a little bowl of food, you can still pretty much sell that for 100k. People are buying that for 100k right now, I've actually sold a couple of those for 100k um, on the first day. So even that is really good. You can sort of tell by looking at what ones are going to be good, like big bookcases, big double beds, things like that, you know, walls. Uh, those things are going to sell for a lot more, you can probably get two, 300k for a lot of those. And that's just being blue motifs. And then we get into some purple motifs, so purple motifs are actually worth quite a lot, so so the lowest price item I've actually seen so far that is purple is 300k and it's actually my item so it's basically just a little incense burner so it's not a very big item it's probably not you know gonna fill someone's house or make or break their house so I put it off for 300k because it's still very rare still day one people are still gonna buy it but also it's not that sought after because it's just a little incense burner so just keep in mind what you actually get matters so a good thing to do whenever you steal a furniture plant would actually be to google what it looks like and you can be like, oh, this looks really cool, this looks big, this looks rare. And then you can sort of uh, gauge your price on that. So the main way you'd actually find out what your item's worth is just to simply go to Mournhold. Uh, look for your item. If there's none of that, just look for other purple items that are kind of similar. You know, same style. So that's the end of our route. So whenever you come to the end of the route, what you want to do is just simply log out and then log back in. So what this will do is basically just reset um, the entire palace so everything has new stuff in it. Um, you can go re -thief and just do it in reverse order. Things are just going to run back backwards. So personally I think this is the best place you can actually be thieving now for these furnishing plants because I went outside and I tried going to like the mage skill, fire skill, things like that. And there's generally not a lot to steal from and there's people there who will catch you and then you've got to break into some people's houses. It's really inconvenient. This is just a really really easy one to do because there's no one really looking at you in most of the locations uh, you don't really have to sneak around you don't have to worry about assassinating anyone you don't have to pick lock anything and also there's no guards in here so you, if you really want to you can literally just sprint about steal everything get a big bounty and then just teleport out to like uh the reaper's march um rogues then and then you'll be completely fine just pay your bounty off so you really don't have to sneak at all you can just walk around check everything and uh just take what you want also my advice is don't steal anything you don't actually want because there's no point getting a bounty and getting caught or like stealing a banana. You might as well just only take the furniture plants. So I was going to show you guys I've sold two of these blue motifs so far so I basically made this video about two hours into the DLC being released on Xbox so it's actually they've sold pretty fast and they've sold for a good amount of money. So basically sold these both for about 100k and what i've done also it's got a purple one on the market right now for 300k it hasn't sold yet but obviously a 300k incense burner and people are going to be a bit hesitant to buy it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to travel to mournhold and just give you guys a quick little look around all the guild traders there and let you see a rough price of what everything is so whenever we start looking we're basically going to see it, it sort of confirms what i was saying earlier and it's more or less like the purple things sell for about 300k plus because 300k is pretty low for a purple rare furnishing plan like day one you know really close into the dlc so if we look here at the vampire cabinet here in empire traders it actually looks really nice it's obviously a purple rare it's quite a big item looks nice this day one so 900k maybe it's a little bit steep but someone actually probably will buy this remember not only is stealing a big part of this you actually need to have really good trio guilds to be able to sell all the stuff again so try and make sure you get into some mournhold guilds if possible or Elden Root or Reaper's March, something like that. 
uh, just so you can sort of sell your items quite fast because you don't want to be trying to sell it in some random middle of nowhere trader where you have a really rare item and then no one's going to be able to see it. Anyway, that's it for the video today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys make a lot of money by stealing these furnishing plans. And if you did like it, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe for some more content like this, and I will see you next time.